No matter what kind of power sports you're into, safety is always paramount. Now when it comes to UTVs and side-by-sides, one of the best things you can do is ditch that three-point seat belt and get a good set of harnesses. I'm JC from Motorcycle Superstore and this is the Dragonfire 3-inch harness system. This is a four-point harness. They do offer a five-point for racing. This is more of a recreational purpose. The benefits of the three-inch design straps. These are three inches wide, they're nylon webbing, and the benefits that they provide are a more secure fit, basically. Three inches is obviously stronger. Uh, you're also going to find that it distributes the load across your shoulders, a broader area. That's going to equal more comfort over time. You won't have the pressure points. This is their H pattern design. The, the shoulder straps are actually sewn into the waist strap. The beauty of that is that you only have one metal buckle to worry about. You're not trying to hook all three components together. The H portion comes from that plus the sternum strap. This is a three-prong plastic clip. That's going to keep it together across your chest. Now, as you can see as I throw this on, the straps here are padded. They have sewn-in shoulder pads. That's your point of contact between the straps and your body, so extra padding there is required. Now, this is, this is what I was getting at. This is the nice function. Once you sit in the seat and you throw these straps over your shoulders, it's really easy to get it buckled in. A nice Velcro strap here on the release mechanism so that it won't come off on accident. But as you slide into place, this comes across your lap, the buckle goes in, and you're ready to go. Very simple, very secure. We're actually going to install these in our Razor 4 so that we can have a more secure feel and uh, be able to push the limits a little harder in that vehicle. Let's head down to the shop now and see if we can get them installed. The Razor 4 will haul ass, but this thing, that's bare minimum. We're going to ditch this weak stuff and we're going to go with something a little heavier. Once we strap these bad boys in, then you're going to be riding in style and a lot safer. Once the harnesses are installed, then it's time to put on your final adjustments. You're going to want to do this from inside the cab once you got the seat back inside. And the reason is you want it to be as secure as possible. There is some adjustment on the straps for every time you get in and out, but you want to do the majority of it right here on the back. Once that's done, make sure you double wrap them back over themselves and you can actually trim it. However, if there's going to be different drivers, uh, keep that in mind because you might need a little bit of extra slack depending on who's riding in the vehicle. So, the nice thing about the H harness, like we talked about in the studio, is that there's only really one connection point across the, the lap. Slip this inside, latch it down, and you're ready to go. You don't have to worry about hooking these shoulder straps down into it, it's very simple. Sternum strap, lean back against the seat, and give it your final adjustments. Now that is secure.